Chinish Mataji, dear brothers and sisters, let the whole world through us do a namaskar full of heart and attention to the primordial mother, Shri Mataji Nirmala Devi. Let's do a collective namaskar and let's raise the primordial Kundalini within us. Namaskar Kundalini. short talk about Sri Chakra. I think I should sit down and write all about it and it will be a nice handy thing for you to read. But you must know that beyond thought when you go, these chakras become extremely efficient because the thought puts a pressure on them. And because of the pressure, the movement of these chakras is very slow and ineffective. But once you can get out of your thoughts and go into thoughtless awareness, then these chakras start working it out and you start moving much deeper into your own being. Beautiful Earth has created so many beautiful things. But she herself is nothing but detached, simple, Mother Earth. Perhaps that's my condition too. When it comes to creation, I can create beautiful things. You are so beautiful too, creature. But as far as I am concerned, I do not think that I require any one of these things or I am bothered about them or need them or tempted by them. So what Gregor has said is because they are insisting that they are going to give me presents every year. And that's why this is a prelude to that. But I've been telling them that there's no need now. That's a, you all consider it. There's only no need to give so many presents. What you can do now to start reducing the number of presents you give me, one country can give one present. <clears throat> if you can do that, <coughs> I'll be thankful. But I'll have to build another house and the grandeur and all these things are created by me 
but never enjoyed my life. I just enjoy myself, that's all. And myself is so big, it is such a big thing. I don't know what it means, it means grandeur or nature or anything, or you all people. I enjoy everything of it. So for me, there's no need for you to now, as he said, there's those people came, three of them, Brahma, Vishnu, Mahesha, to give presents to Christ. Yes, they did. And you have given me too. But now I think it's better that you people reduce some quantity at least. I'll be very thankful that if something could be done like that, and from next year we should try to make it less and less and less. Because it's very sweet of you to have given me all those things because I enjoy them, they're beautiful things. Whenever I see them, I remember with good heart. But you know that Mother is too simple and though I can create all kinds of things, as far as I'm concerned, I'm too simple. And also Mr. Shirastha has so many sides, says also, you've got so many sides but you'll go on with your white sides all the time. The reason is, you see, a simple personality can only create beautiful things. A simple heart can only create nice things. Because simplicity at the simple level is so simple, like you are made of seven chakras. Seven chakras, then the permutations of the seven chakras, that's all. But supposing you start from outside, then you'll have to go to medical science or you'll have to go to another complicated thing. But basically, fundamentally, it's too simple. That's why Sahaja Yoga is very simple, because we are dealing with the fundamental things. So fundamentally, if you are simple, then everything that you do is just a combination and permutation of all these things. And all these things, when they are put together, they make such beautiful things. For example, as I have told you once, I was travelling and we went to a place called Paritana, known to be a very beautiful, uh, beautifully carved place. And we had to walk, I don't know, for three miles at least, climbing up or something like that. With me was my daughter and my son-in-law went up and there was a little temple they wanted to rest. And so we li laid down ourselves there. And as soon as I saw all these beautiful elephants were there, so I told my son-in-law, look at these elephants, all their tails are twisted differently. He said, Mommy, we are so fed up, how do you have energy to see the tails? <laughs> I said, because I see the tails, I don't feel tired, that's the point. Because I see the beauty of these tales. So, you see, the, even in simple things, there's so much of beauty. In, on very, very ordinary uh, persons, you will find that they have a very beautiful things and very nice way of saying things. Very simple talks uh, of children like that. They're so simple so straightforward, and whatever this is so deep. So whatever is deep is simple, but when it is expressed outside, it is, can have lots of permutations and combinations and it can work out uh, in a beautiful way. I must tell you, I had no stay in making this house, nothing. I was not bothered at all. I found everything so easily, I brought it here, put it down here. I never even thought there's stain or anything. Everybody says, what a concept, but I never conceived anything. I mean, I just don't know. What is the concept is there? I just don't know. To me, it's nothing great. The whole world is there for us to see and to be fascinated. But behind all that, all this world, and everything is created with a very little simple idea of God that you all have to enter into the kingdom of God. That's all. Such a simple idea, so he's created such a beautiful world, then he created all kinds of things to bring you to the human level. And now, just simple thing is to enter into the kingdom of God. 
You should not complicate yourself too much. And once you do that, you'll be surprised how beautifully you'll be able to produce. Even some artists who are extremely simple by nature, like Ravi Shankar, you know, and his guru, he has got Allah Rakha and Ali Akbar, all these were his disciples. Such a great genius man, he's such a simple man, I tell you. Uh, and he knew me very well. He used to call me Ma, he used to call me Mother from the very beginning. And one day he brought one uh, little uh, deer, a baby deer, brought it to me. I said, what's the matter? He said, see, this deer was crying too much, so I brought it to you. And I said, from why for me? So, you see, he will feel the love of his mother, so he just caress him. Imagine such a great artist coming like a little baby to me, bringing that. I was so surprised at him. Look at him, such a simple man, he's uh, doing that. And, you see, if you see the children when they love, how genuine they are, how they work it out. The same place there was a child who was very fond of me. And one day he decided to bring some uh, pumpkins for me. So he brought one to me, I saw him bring him in the thing. He said, All right, just wait. Then there was, he went back and there was another one kept a little further. He brought that. He had put nine of them in different places. One by one he was bringing, he brought nine <laughs> pumpkins to give me. So sweet. And I said, why did you bring nine? Because I don't know which one you like, so I brought all of them. <laughs> so simple and so touching, I mean, just touched your heart. So we have to be simple people, we have to talk to each other in a simple way, not in a complicated way, in a very simple sweet manner. That's how we are going to create a beautiful world. So I would request all of you to be very kindly and very gentle with each other, especially for the newly married couples. Try to be nice. Nobody is going to dominate you if you are nice. It's only you dominate yourself. And don't try to control your husbands or your wives. Let them be, en let them enjoy their freedom. They are not going to do anything wrong. So some people try to control too much and there are problems. So please do not try to control. Like, if I am keeping it here, they will keep it there. There is no need, let it be, it doesn't matter, nothing so serious. But on small, small things I have seen, such marriages fizzle out and it is absolutely wrong. So for marriages today is a very auspicious day, so many people have been engaged to be married, uh, one thing you must remember, that you should not lose your connection with joy, it's stupidity. When two nice birds are together, they should chirp and laugh and enjoy. Instead of that, if they start pricking each other, what should we call them? So today is a great joy for me, so many people are engaged and are going to get married. But now understand your responsibility that nothing is to be done, you have to be just such, don't have to do anything. We are working out, you cannot work out marriage, you cannot work out. Just know about your husband or about your wife and just try to enjoy whatever they are. I mean, I do enjoy that way about my husband, so many things which may sound little queer to people, but I enjoy it because I know that's the nice thing about a human beings that they have variety and they have little different angles with themselves. And these angles are to be enjoyed and to be appreciated. If you can do that, then you will never fight, because two persons cannot be alike, even two leaves are not alike. So you should enjoy. Everybody has some sort of a, so you can call it a kink or whatever it is, or maybe some angle. Just enjoy that angle. You don't have that, so let him have at least, or let her have that. So. Today's special day is that so many marriages have been fixed up. I don't know how many, he has not told me yet the number, but quite a lot have been fixed. Huh? Fifty have been already fixed. So now it's a very big number and will be more by the time we reach Ganpati. So let us not create problems out of this. You don't have to sit down. I've seen after marriage, 
we start thinking. What, what do you think about it? It's like after realization you start thinking. Once you are married, you are not to think. You know, before marriage you think. What's the use of thinking after marriage? It's a very common thing. After marriage they start thinking. Then after marriage you enjoy. After cooking the food, you eat the food. Or after food has been served, then you start thinking about it. It's absurd. So this is a very common feeling we have had so far. I would like to tell you, first of all you think before getting married. And after getting married, you carry on. And don't try to control, don't try to dictate, try to be nice and sweet. You don't have to go out of the way, but be normal and it will all work out. May God bless you all, especially all the, the girls and boys who are being engaged. I bless you from my heart and enjoy each other. That's the main point. Thank you very much. Thank you. Simus concanentes Ave Maria Cumplissimus concanentes Ave Maria Cumplissimus concanentes Ave Maria Cumplissimus Come to see what's come to end this. 
Let's put both hands on the floor. Pull attention above Sarsvara. Let's check our being, which is sit on the ground or on a chair. Both hands on the over the floor. Both 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 hands towards the floor. Attention above Sarsvara. Let's feel this triangle made by our hands directed to the floor, to Mother Earth, and our head and our attention directed to the kingdom of heavens. Let's feel the enlightenment over our heads, the complete connection to the heavens over our head collectively, and at the same time, the complete surrender through our hands to Mother Earth. Let's say Shri Ganesh Mantra and Shri Adibumi Devi Mantra. Om Swameva Sakshat Shri Ganesha Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji, Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha, Shri Adi Bhumi Devi, Om Tuameva Sakshat, Shri Adi Bhumi Devi Sakshat, Shri Adi Shakti Mataji, Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha. Let completely surrender to Mother Earth. Right side and ego and all the mind, all our actions. Left side and super ego all the conditioning, all the past, all the traumas, all the possessions, all the attacks on the left side, and all the impurities in the central channel. May our central channel be completely free of all obstacles, like a free, free tube of life tube of light that is pure of any obstacle or any negativity, allowing Mother Kundalini to rise powerfully to take the whole frontal channel. Let watch Mother Earth absorb all the impurities in our three channels, in all the chakras, and make us freer, more relaxed, deeper. very happy and prosperous me. I wish you all a very happy and prosperous me. Aaj naya saal ka shubh divas hai aap sabko All of you, all of you are in my heart. And I love you very much. 
and I want you people to come as soldiers to fight with me. It's possible with the power of love. With the power of love. Now let's put the left hand on the lap. Shri Mahakali Bhairava. Om Tomeva Sakshat. Shri Mahakali Bhairava Sakshat. Shri Adi Shakti Mataji. Shri Nirmala Devi Namona Maha. Let's surrender, let's expose our collective left side so that it is enlightened. There is no corner where any dark, darkness can stay. It is completely enlightened. Every single aspect of our left side is enlightened. And Sri Bhairav is completely established in our left side, powerful, strong, and very alert. It also open our heart completely. Complete openness of the heart, complete love for ourselves, for the whole world for all our brothers and sisters, for all the yogis. Complete, complete love for Shri Adi Shakti, the primordial mother. Let's feel the complete love for Shri Adi Shakti in our heart. And also the complete love for Shri Sadashiva, our father. Complete and conditional love without limits. Just spread all over. Our heart is so big and so wide that we are ourselves amazed by our capacity to love, the power of love in our heart which is the power of the divine, of the spirit in our heart. Let's love like a warrior. Let's actively love. Actively give instead of expecting to receive.
Let's switch hands. Right hand on the lap, left hand on the on the floor. Shikartikeya. Let's collectively surrender the right Muladhara and all the negativities in us. Shikartikeya mantra. Om Tuameva Sakshat. Shri Kartikeya Sakshat. Shri Adishakti Mataji. Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha. Father, you are truly the destroyer of all negativities, of all demons in, in me. And also around me. Now left hand over the shoulder, Shri Mahasaraswati Hanuman. Om Tuameva Sakshat. Shri Mahasaraswati Hanumana Sakshat. Shri Adishakti Mataji. Shri Nirmala Devi Namona Maha. I truly surrender ego and all the reactions, actions, mind. Let's surrender all this energy to element air so that all vanishes like illusions that are blown away by the wind. And in us only remains the silence and the awareness of the spirit, the presence of the spirit. Nothing else. Pure silence, pure peace, pure enjoyment, pure joy. Now both hands on the lap. Shri Adi Kundalini Mata. Let's really open our awareness above Saswara and really be collectively settled above the collective Saswara. We need to feel the openness above all the superior chakras and the complete connection to the divine, to the kingdom of heavens above Sarsvara. Let's really open our hands 
offer our hands, offer our heart, offer our sasrara, offer our complete central channel, and allow both left side and right side, left channel and right channel to melt, to melt, to merge into the central channel, into one big main central channel where only Mother Kundalini is present and pushes Ude Ude upward, upward to be more and more settled in the kingdom of heavens above Sasrara. Shri Adi Kundalini Mata. Om. Tuameva Sakshat. Shri Hadi Kundalini Mata Sakshat Shri Hadi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha Let breathe through Sasrara. Let's feel the collective sasvara. This sasvara that is the sasvara of the cosmic being, of the primordial being, of Allah, of the Virat. Let's feel that primordial sasvara and the 1,000 petals of pure light glowing, radiating, powerful, let feel our own collectivity. Let feel that we are the collective being. Let feel our integration, our oneness. And let's surrender ego, superego, mind, everything. Let be so powerless by surrendering our ego and superego that we allow the spirit, the power of the spirit to take over the power of Adi Shakti, to take over the power of Sri Nirmalama to take over. Complete, complete surrendering until we become one pure spirit, one collective being, nothing else.
Now, where is our attention? Let's position ourselves like a warrior inside. Let's align ourselves completely. And really now, no compromise, no excuse. We are settled in the kingdom of heavens above Sahasrara. We are at the lotus feet of Adi Shakti. We are collective. No whining, no excuse for ourselves. Just we are now completely collective in Sahasrara at Lotus Feet of Devi. Let's feel Mother Kundalini, primordial Kundalini inside us, the complete Kundalini, not, not, not only a part of the Kundalini, complete Kundalini is rising in us meaning we are completely surrendered from our heart, totally surrendered. Let's try and be in this moment here and now completely. Mother Kundalini is rising completely in us, going far above Sasrara, completely emerging us in the kingdom of heavens with Adi Shakti and Sadashiva and all the enlightened beings. We are completely one in Sahasrara. Mother Kundalini is powerfully rising and we emit from our collective desire, the wish that Mother Kundalini spread all over the whole world the consciousness of all the yogis, enlighten all the seekers, protect all the seekers, all the children, all the innocents, bring love and peace to the world. Bring Vishva Nirmala Dharma, awakens all the souls and may, may the whole world feel the love, feel the peace, feel the joy. 
feel the complete love of the Devi, of our own mother, of our creator. Let's feel the flow of the Mother Kundalini inside us. We need to be very aligned inside so that we need, we really feel the Kundalini flowing in our hands, in our being. Our heart is completely opened. We just completely surrender our being. So that there is no ego, there is no super ego, there is no mind, just the flow of Mother Kundalini. from our collective consciousness to the whole world, from our collective being to the whole world, like a geyser of light, of love, of vibrations, flowing permanently. Mother, I 
नमस्कार कुंडलिनी